girl. Good girl, okay? And we will see you next week. Bye, Sassy. them in there look at them look at them ah some of them are smiling <laughs> oh. yeah so we are here in windy hill on the way to mount surprise we're going to do a three days camping yeah yeah it's gonna be nice the weather's gonna be good um a little bit it's nice up here at the moment it's not it's hot it's nice it's not hot mm. it's, it's not really cold but it's just just nice at uh, temperature. So we're, we're still about two hours drive away. I hope you can hear me because it's quite windy. Yeah. That's why it's called Windy Hill up here. Oh my god, I thought I'd watch him. And look. I thought I'd, I would watch him. This oh, has oh. adopted us. It's come out of the bush somewhere. So I don't know whether it's lost. I don't know whether it's lost or what's going on. But it's been cut. You can see it's hair. But yeah, it's, it's following us around at the moment. So yeah, we're we're gonna just we're gonna we just stopped here for a little bite to eat and a stretch of the legs. We've been driving for how long, Mummy? About one hour and a half, maybe. No. So we're gonna. Yeah. Um, Can we we're adopt gonna, him? We're gonna make tracks now. We gotta set up camp, so it's gonna be a yeah, big afternoon. It will yeah. be a late one. I reckon we won't be able to. We won't be able to um, cook for dinner. Hey, don't smell that. <laughs> So this is the windmill farm at Ravenshoe, or just outside Ravenshoe, and it's called Windy Hill. An appropriate name, I guess. 20 turbines it's saying here. Yeah, 20 turbines. You know what scares me? Oh, they're very tall. You know people get up there and they have to do maintenance on them? Oh god, that'd be scary. Oh yeah. I'd be scared on my way down after doing it and it's scary. Yeah, it would be.
bed rock. Bedrock is a resort. It's not a resort, is it? Yeah, it's, it's a caravan park. So here in Australia, there are different kinds of camping camping area. There is a bush camping where actually the best one to go to because um, you can be by yourself. You need to be self-sufficient. Um, but yes, you need to be um, self-sufficient. It means that you need to have your own toilet. You need to have everything that you need. You know what I mean? Because uh, there's no toilet, there's no shower, there's uh, nothing. But it's more peaceful and yeah, it's it's the best. It's the best. Um, a caravan park, it's a big park where they have pools, um, they have um, nice accommodations. It's like cabins and stuff that you can enter. They have um, caravans, um, area for the caravans and for tent. So it has a power. A powered site and non-powered site and it's more expensive per night to pay and the other one is um, farm farm stay usually it's a private property owned by someone and you are camping actually just around the backyard or you know part of the land Usually yes. big, big property though. Yeah, a huge property. We're some talking about huge property. I mean, property. some of the property of these farms are bigger than, as big as a country. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Europe or maybe. Yeah, just like the Woodley Station. So those are the different kinds of camping areas here in Australia. it's not bad it's um we've got shower but that's it but guess what we've got this whole place here to ourselves hopefully no one turns up here. yeah hopefully we'll but it's weekend, all right anyways. so we've got we've got um the pool over there we've got a big amenities over there and then we've got a little kitchen there so this is the good thing if you are camping in um what do you call this one um a caravan park because you know they've got amenities and usually a camp kitchen is uh, provided too so that's a camp kitchen there you can wash your dishes which is actually good because i forgot to bring a bucket and the basin good one so that's the one there that's our site there so from that pole that's um um power there's a power point in there to there. We'll have that one there. That's where our campsite is here, guys. They say there's a lot of campers, camper trailers here. They're probably laughing at us because we've got a tent and they're looking at how quick it takes to put theirs up compared to ours, but really, can they beat this? There you go. Okay, so the tent is up Mangalalabs. This time we don't we don't put the we don't put the fly. We don't put the fly because it's just easier and it will be cooler without the fly, just a tarp on top. So the girls are doing their stretches. Good one girls, good one, good job, good job. How about you Kiana? Just 
Do your stretcher. Okay, hold that. Okay, that's done. If it is not bush camping, you are limited on the area that you can use. Because there's so many people here. Because actually, telling you, mga lalabs, we are actually taking already two sites. <laughs> oh, and yeah, then we we're just <laughs> we're just really hoping that it's the the um, the caravan park won't be um, filling up, or else we have to pay this extra site that we've got because the tent that we've got it's a ten man. It's really good for bush. Wait, ten. Yeah, it's really good for bush camping. So there's lots of stuff. There's lots of um, stuff that um, we took with us that we're not going to set it up and use this camping so the gazebo number one um the air dryer since they've got air dryers everywhere anyway so they we're do? not going to oh, put yeah. it up um we're not going to put up um some tables um because it's actually already provided we've got a camp ki kitchen over there so really we don't need to have our own table so we can just bring all the dirty stuff over there and wash it there so look we've got damaged Huh? Why? Because I haven't got enough stuff there. They're, they're busy because of stuff tonight they've got to do. There's no rice. They uh, said we're limited. They, they don't have the rice. I've got rice. Yeah, let's do they, cook. Do they want my rice? Yeah, we could just help them. I can give them more rice. It's not, you're, you're talking country here. It's and more, why, than, more than why three, do you more than three. It? Well, she said, You'll probably find you get meals. I mean, they can do chicken and they can do chicken nuggets and chips. They can fit us in for that, but mm. there's only two of them in there. But when, I, when I said, oh, "Can you do us up any meals?" It was like, "Oh, <gasps> What? <laughs> what? Did they say like, that? No, it was like when I when I asked them, it was like they they went into shock. Oh, someone's ordering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe they were hoping nothing. Yeah. So yeah, finally, we're settled. Everything's done, and now they're digging in. What you've got? Casey got rice and tomato sauce. And some tomato sauce and chips. And K Kia. Kia. The culot has the same thing. And Daddy. So Daddy has egg, sardines. <laughs> Oh. Sardines and what's that, Daddy? Chicken curry. Chicken curry. I thought it was green curry. Green curry. Yeah. Green curry. Green chicken curry. But tomorrow we might go in to do something, right? We'll go, we'll go to, to the, the creek. creek. Hmm. We'll check out. But the there's creek. a pool right over. Uh, we'll check out the creek and kids can go for a swim tomorrow. And oh, Daddy, take it out there. It's scary. Yeah. We may even um, do a little road trip to O'Brien's because I wouldn't mind checking it out. Um, O'Brien's, check the O'Brien's. It's a 30k road trip though. What's that? 30, 30, 30k's on the road. 30k's, dirt road with a, yeah. We're worth checking out though because we want to camp there. Yeah, um, yeah, someday. But that, that O'Brien's, it's going to be different from here because this is caravan part. So actually we've got lots of um, company with us. Um, doing camping, um, yeah. O'Brien's is it's like um, a bush camping. What are we gonna do with Kumbalumba? Bush camping. Oh no, Kumbalumba's next. We'll go Kumbalumba in the winter. That's gonna be in the winter. Kum Kumbalumba. Yeah, mga lalabs. What the? What about the frozen? Let's eat mga lalabs, and we will see you tomorrow morning. Yeah, bright and early for the sunrise. Bye for now. Good, good night, everyone. Enjoy. Good night. I hope you have a good swim tomorrow. Or maybe we can bring you underwater. Mm -hmm. If you're waterproof, if you're waterproof, we can give you underwater.
<laughs> Good night, everyone.